No, I get it. All right, so basically I was talking about the reference of how I figured out the planets and how they move with out of space and the stock market. So, for example, when gold, the Anunnaki uses gold to help rebuild Nibiru. Gold was up higher than silver. So that's gold right there. That's silver. But then it just transitioned back. So now silver moving just as good as gold. But in actuality, they taking it back. And that picture right there is a picture, supposed to be a picture of one of the celestials represented named by Anu. Um, the Sumerian text cuneiform. Basically, if they're taking gold, they transfer information up and down, up and down from the earth to the higher plane, celestial. So that'll be gold. And then the silver will go sideways, like Jesus walking on the earth, sideways, left, right, left, right. So basically, when the gold was going up, they'll transfer the information back down. And then what I had did was I was like, okay, well, how does America use that information transfer? Or how does the world use it? So it's the tech sector. So since the NASDAQ is a tech sector, and I know it's supposed to be financial is buying, but for some reason the NASDAQ is buying more than the Dow Jones, Dow Jones financials. And that's still against the tri um, the trials because through trials, financial is supposed to buy. Through tribulations, tech is supposed to buy. So basically, now we're in the trial line. So basically, since the NASDAQ's buying, what I had did was I had looked at the stock, the stock sector of the NASDAQ 100. And then that shows the biggest companies in the United States for as far as the tech sector. So when I click on that, all I do is scroll over and look at the change for the day and click on it to show me which one's the highest and which one's the lowest. Now you see Tesla's down. Remember I said Tesla was supposed to sell? Yeah. But they go in and out of space because they use the space program, mm -hmm. remember? Mm -hmm. Elon Musk and Nikola Tesla and them. Look at that. And it's the second to bottom out of all of them. That's bad for them. But that's because they're overpriced and they're causing the union workers to strike because they keep using manufacturing instead of letting the union workers work and get their money the way they're supposed to. All right, so now, if we go back to the earthly side of it, I mean the uh, celestial side of it, Sirius is actually a star system, a uh, white dwarf. That's why I took a picture on there. It's a white dwarf. And then Sirius is a representation of a star. But in our actuality, that's the stock that's up out of all of them in the NASDAQ, the tech sector. It represents going up and down, up and down to the heavens as above or so below. And the Nephilim are represented as the fallen ones, the Anunnaki, the ones that came and fell and, and then left. So that's serious. And then it was weird that my theory came to all that conclusion just to be blah, blah, blah and talk about it. And then look at the third one on the performance, a constellation energy corporation. But guess what the keyword constellation mean? Constellations deal with the stars and the planets, don't it? All right. So that's basically the basics of all I'm going to say for right now.